come down from that tree now. He won't hurt you. Are you sure? I'm positive. He's a big softy. Oh. All right. Only if it's safe. I'm coming down. Oh. Ouch. That hurt. You must be snowy. Um, and yeah, you must be Wild Bill then. Why do they call you Wild Bill? Haha, <laughs> that'd be telling. And this here is Rico. Seth tells me you got something for me. Oh, yeah, um... There you go. Whoa, man, that's a good size. Sorry? Oh, oh, of course, um, you're talking about the gold. I thought you was... Ne never mind. So that's your yard, is it? Feel free to look around and I'll go get Seth's money. Okay, cool. I'll have a little wander around then. I promise I won't touch anything. This is a pretty cool place. It also looks very dangerous. That thing there terrifies me. I've no idea what that is, I'll have to ask Bill about that. But there's some cool stuff here. A lot of junk as well. I'm wondering if that is like a bunker silo maybe. It's got lights on it. What a cool place though. Look at these things. What are these? Almost look like big rolling pins. Nice big shed. Ah, that must be Rico's house there, look. <laughs> Bless him. Oh, God, there he is. Hello, Rico. I think he likes me now. <laughs> Good boy. I don't know what I was so scared of. I feel stupid now. I wonder what's through this gate. Seems to be some old units or something. Some vehicles. Hmm. Oh. Hey kid, here's Seth's money. There's a lot there, so get it to him straight away. Okay, yeah, I will. I'll get that to him straight away. Um, what's through there, through that gate? Oh, just a couple old units I don't use anymore. I tried producing some of my own things to sell, but it didn't really take off. You want to buy them? Um... Maybe in the future. It depends what use they are going to be to me. But I don't think I can afford anything like that. We're a bit strapped for cash at the minute. I'm just trying to rebuild Uncle Jimmy's farm at the minute. So it could be a long way off before I can do anything like that. Make sure you stop by now and then. I might have a few things of interest for you. I also process stuff here. So if you have any grass, hay, manure, etc. I'll pay you for it. Okay, cool. That's really no good to know. Thank you very much, Bill. It's nice to meet you. Good to meet you, Snowy, and take care. And you too. And Rico. I'll catch you later. Well. That was pretty cool. They seem like nice people. Like I say, I think Rico... Oh, he's... <laughs> Go on, boy, go away. You need to go away. That's it. I think Rico really likes me. Right. Just check Bill's not listening. This envelope he has given me is thicker. Well, it is very, very thick. There must be a hell of a lot of money in here. I have no idea how much is in here, but it's quite frightening, really. So I'm going to head straight to Seth's because I don't want all this cash on me. I know there's not really anyone about, but... Well, I can't believe... I mean, I, I don't know how much is in there. Right, anyway, let's get to Seth's. Right, let's go and give Seth this money and then I'm going to get home because... I am absolutely shattered. It's been a long day. Quite an eventful day again as well. So, Right, let's go and see what he's got to say first. Wow, I'm... 
I'm absolutely stunned because I took the money in there to Seth and we've had a bit of a chat and he's counted it out $50,000 were in there 50 grand so that was the first bit of me being stunned and I'm secondly stunned because Seth has counted out $15,000 and given it to me I said what, what, what's this for Seth that's, that's madness that's your money and he was adamant that I helped him I saved his life he could have died down there and I said well it's not like you know anyone wouldn't have heard you because that explosion was probably heard back home in England I would have thought but He's given us 15,000. I honestly, I'm speechless. I mean, that is that is going to help us get in the truck. Um, as you can see, it's getting quite dark, so I am going to head back and get some rest. But this money, oh man, I I I don't know. Would that can help out a lot for us I kind of feel a bit divided about how I feel about it if that makes sense because yes I'm happy we've got an extra 15,000 that is going to go a long way towards getting some equipment to get us going helping us on our way but I can't help feel a bit like it's dirty money I don't know why because I think that gold is all fair game it's just been left out here but uh, anyway so that's added to the more drama of today but like I say guys I'm going to head back to the farm I'm going to cook up some I don't know I might just have some rice and beans or something I'm not really that hungry tomorrow is going to be another day I'm going to get some rest, so I will probably see you tomorrow, and yeah, I don't know, maybe we can, we might have some news about our baler or something like that, but we need to start carrying on with our work, but I will see you tomorrow guys. Hmm, that tyre looks a little bit bald to me, but I'll have to get that checked out. Good morning guys, how are you all? Um, been up bright and breezy this morning, still in shock about Seth's sort of donation. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've been up to the shop, well they phoned me up first um, to tell me bad news about the baler. They can't really seem to fix it, they can't get the right bit for it. So they've offered us, or they've given us rather, a refund for it, which is good. Um, not quite the full whack, because obviously we did use it for a bit, but we have been given almost the full price we paid for it, which is pretty good. So again, that's going to go towards some things. They have got an older style baler as well, which is pretty cool right up my street but they think it might be a little bit too big for our tractor so they're willing to let us try it see how it performs and if we like it then we can keep it it's not that expensive it's more expensive than the one we first had and also i've ordered a couple of other bits that are going to help us i hope um, with the baling lifting the bales because they will be producing bigger bales this baler so the tractor is up at the shop at the minute I drove the tractor up there they said bring it up they hopefully have put on a front loader attacher so we're going to get ourselves like a front loader with some bell spikes or something like that so we can lift the bales up um, onto that trailer our trailer we bought so yeah hopefully things are going to start to look up for us because then we can start baling the rest of the hay we need to obviously carry on with that field um, 
I know it looks like we've got a lot of money, but it's not going to go too far. I need to look after it a bit because I need to plan for the future. There's no good going hell for leather and buying everything, this, that and the other. And then all of a sudden we haven't got anything. So hopefully we can make a bit more money off of those bales. And we can also mow the rest of that grass all the way around there. It's going to take a long time, but we could get that all bailed up as hay as well. Um, yeah, and who knows? I don't know. Maybe one day we can afford a bell wrapper and try and produce silage. We've got a couple more trees we can pick out and chop down, but they're lovely colours though, aren't they? So yeah, I'm going to head on up to the shop in the truck because that is all we've got down here to riding. I will probably see you up there. Hopefully the tractor is done and our bits are in. So yeah, I'll see you up there guys. But obviously I've got a bit of a problem now because we're going to have both vehicles up at the shop. But I will have to sort that out later. It's not a major issue. Maybe one of the lads up at the shop can drive this back later. I'm not sure. Maybe even let the guy that wants to buy it drive it but I don't think we need to sell this now because we've had a little bit of a cash injection from Seth so yeah I'll get all these things sorted and I'll see you in a bit right we've had the front loader fitted guys look at that that tractor is looking a little bit more beefier than when we first got our hands on it but anyway, the, all of the equipment is out the front of the shop. They've got it ready. You can see some of it there. <laughs> Look at the size of this baler, guys. That is... Look at it compared to the tractor. Um, I don't know if our tractor is going to be man enough for it, but like the chap said, they are willing to let us try it so we will see i'll tell you what we will do let's put on the front loader and things like that i'll quickly show you what we've got before i get carried away and it's not been too expensive as you can see we spent about eighteen thousand. so obviously the baler as it stands we've paid twelve thousand for that the front loader was about five just over the bell spike was quite cheap and look at this one of the guys in there makes these himself so it's one of their old clever motors look clever motors how awesome is that it's one of their old oil barrels he just fills up with con concrete cement and then puts all these attachments on it that's gonna give us a weight on the back which we're going to need if we're going to be lifting bells up with one of those so pretty smart so that is where we're at with all of those it's quite exciting hopefully this will fit there we go we'll get everything hooked up i'll have to worry about the pickup a little bit later I'm not too fast now um the weight I think we're gonna have to go round onto there I mean that is well cool that's probably my favorite purchase out of the lot of them <laughs> that weight I like simple things like that I just gotta have a look at that that is that's fantastic oh I just thought hmm can't get the weight yet because we can't attach the right let's put the weight down over by our truck out of the way because I don't want to upset the guys at the shop they've been very very good so we can't actually take that because we need the baler first and we're not going to be able to attach that are we so we'll drop that down we will keep the front loader on though that will add a little bit of weight to the front as well. We do have those weights on as well that we had put on. 
Right, so we are all hooked up. <laughs> Look at it. So let's head on down. I'm hoping... I mean, it is pulling it. It is a big bit of kit, but it is pulling it. And we're maxing out our top speed now, which is good. It's all weather it can handle it when the PTO fires up and we start trying to pick up some hay. That is what could mess us up. But we are about to find out. What I'd like to do at least today is get this hay picked up and sold. And see where we're at, see what we get with that. Like I say, I really need to get something put in that field that we've got stones we need to pick up. Uh, that is another thing actually I talk to them about is stone pickers. Um, they've got some bigger pieces of equipment they can get their hands on. And um, they've got one in this shop as well that's being worked on. Someone else owns it. That is just ridiculous. And the price of it, no way. But what they have got is something that is definitely going to be right up our street and it's going to attach to the front loader it's not very expensive oh i did find a bow there lurking look in the bush the grass has already started to grow back which is quite amusing but we haven't been able to do anything for a while so i think this is where we left off so yeah, we do have some stones in this field we're going to have to pick up. But we will see what happens with that. So, moment of truth guys. Fired it up. Dropped it down. It's struggling a little bit, but it is working. We've got hay going in. days and that is not too bad we're doing seven miles an hour that is a lot more than what I was expecting I was expecting it to not even move so still gonna take a fair little while but this is a lot better than what we had before so Quite excited. I've got it on producing the bigger bells. I don't know whether that decision's going to come back and bite me in the bum, but hopefully not. I've got visions of the tractor tipping up at the front because it's going to be too heavy, but hopefully, with our weight on the back, we should be okay. But anyway, I'm going to get this done, guys. I'll bring you back in when we're almost done. I may even pop up to the shop and get that weight. But this... Oh, we're struggling a little bit there on the turn. I think it's... Steering. Come on, girl, you can do it. Right, let's lift that up and turn that off. There we go, yeah, it can't handle the PTO going sometimes, but it'll do for now. Quite impressed so far, this old girl. Right guys, so we have got just this strip left to do. I'm pretty sure we've got around seven bales so far and they are the largest we can have them. So I'm hoping, like I say, the tractor with the front loader is going to be able to cope with that. What I may have to do is 
because I think we're going to end up with a small amount in a minute. I might have to drop the bow size down. Let's just do that. Right, so this one should be a large capacity and then we may not make a full bell here in fact I don't think we are going to but it will be left in the baler for when we sort of tackle this side I had a thought whilst baling because it's quite therapeutic driving along like this we probably might not be able to afford a bell wrapper that's going to do square bells because obviously this is a square baler didn't really think about that but kind of cross that bridge when we come to it um, I'll tell you what we could do to squeeze an extra bow out Oh no, that's grass, isn't it? Um, I'm just wondering if that would... Let's try it. What's the worst that's going to happen? It's going to turn to grass, that's what's going to happen. We'll just have to sell that. Obviously this will be a smaller bow as well. It possibly might stay as hay though been very impressed with the tractor though it has struggled a little bit here and there but that's probably to be expected but what an absolute workhorse it is so I'm very very glad we've got this tractor on our farm what I want to do is literally get to 100% and then stop Steady as she goes. So this is going to be a 6,000 litre bout. Oh, really? There we go. Let's turn that off and lift that up. tiny little bit of grass went in but that will be fine that will convert over into hay when we do start baling again I think we'll drop this off over where the other ones are but yeah pretty cool and I must try and remember that small bow up there I know it's not going to make a huge difference but it would be nice to add it into the mix so let's unload this something's clogged up at the back here I think that should be it I think that should be it there we go that's better I'll get those dropped off as you can see there's a quite a bit of a difference between the last bow and the others there we go guys absolutely fantastic i am very pleased with the purchase of that baler and then who knows maybe we might be able to get a slightly bigger tractor that would look more comfortable with it but this little massey has been absolutely fantastic So we'll put this away, well I say away, we haven't got any sheds yet have we? We will park up um, just here I think. I mean the sheds, they're not a massive priority for us. But it would be nice to sort of keep our yard a bit tidier. I know we've got a lot of mess with the abandoned animal pens and the farmhouse over there so we'll park this up 
Um, oh, I need to go to the shop, don't I, for the weight. I think I might just for fun <laughs> try and pick up one of these bells without a weight on the back. But another thing to think of is, is this tractor actually going to pull this trailer when it's got all these bells on? I think it will. It's a pretty awesome little thing, this tractor. I can imagine Uncle Jimmy had some right old laughs and experiences with this superb little tractor. Um, we can't quite see from there, so we will stay like this. Again, this is going to be a job that will take a little while. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look, we can't steer. <laughs> that was my initial thoughts. So, I'm going to head up to the shop. I will grab our weight. I'll probably get most of these loaded up. I'll bring you back in when there's a couple just left to do. And yeah, we'll go from there. So I'll see you shortly, guys. Right, just these two left to do and the small one, which I can obviously pick up by hand. I'm probably going to, thinking again, doing this, um, that the weight is going to have to come off for us to be able to tow this trailer. Which is a little bit annoying, but I'm hoping we might be able to use Seth's forklift. I think it wasn't working properly on the smaller bales because they were literally so small. And if it doesn't work, I'll have to come back here and grab our weight to take those off, which isn't a huge problem. Um, let's grab... Where was it? There it is. Let's grab this one. I think we'll put it on top of this bell we've got here. And then just chuck that on the back. We'll get some straps on there and then we'll head on over. <laughs> Three different size bells going on. But again, very impressed with this tractor. It is a little beauty. steady there let's go straight up I can just plonk that on the end I'm not too worried about neatness as you can see right um, the weight let's just drop the weight down there let's lower it down drop get some straps on there awesome that little one's just strapped down which is good so let's head on over to Seth's area let's hook up to this first just hope this tractor can pull this weight oh look at that this is what I mean about this tractor look no problem at all straight up to top speed lovely little tractor absolutely awesome I think things are starting to look up guys we haven't had a bad run since we've been here I've obviously had a couple of little mishaps and what with Seth's incident hoping we're not going to have too many more 
but you never know. I do seem to be a little bit accident prone though sometimes, which <laughs> can't be helped. But it's absolutely glorious day. See all the autumn leaves on, obviously these trees are the evergreens, so they're not going to change. That is a huge forest area. And our little exhaust pipe there, look, one of Seth's friends sorted out for us. That is chugging away a good and that has been a godsend. The tractor is looking a little bit filthy now. And I think next time we pop up to the shop, I should have done that actually when I got the weight, but we probably will have to get some fuel, I think. I'm not sure how much that's going to cost. Hopefully not too much, because I shouldn't think the tank is too big on this tractor. I'm not sure what's happening to that tree, but someone's obviously chopped it down. That has not fallen down. I might have a little investigate of that tree in a minute. Let's see, try and see why they've cut that down. It seems a bit random. It's almost as if someone's cut it down and been disturbed doing it, but that that seems a bit odd for that to happen. Right, so if we park up I don't know, let's just park up like this, shall we? I'm just hoping this does actually work. Let's get these straps off. And then we'll jump in Seth's forklift. Oh, here comes the train. Noisy. Right, I'm going to try and see if we can carry two at a time just to speed things up, but... main thing is we can actually lift them that is what I'm hoping hmm. seems to want to lift that one at the back somewhat registering when we go in oh 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 I might have got one there and the small one oh, are we gonna make it this isn't going to plan again I'm gonna have to ask Seth what I mean obviously I know this is for pallets and things like that But, um, I thought it might have been able to pierce through the bells and sort that out. Oh, we're going to have to go and get the weight now, aren't we? That is very annoying. Right, let's put them back. Um, I'm going to put this back for Seth, I think. Let me just try, I'm going to try one more. Let's try one at the front. I don't think it's going to make any difference. But it seemed to pick that one up a little bit. It wasn't great. It just doesn't like them, does it? Pallets only then. Ooh. Hang on a sec, guys. Maybe lifting from the bottom is the way forward. Let's take it steady. Awesome. We are making some good money from these bells. 
this is what we wanted. I think the bottom ones could be a problem because unless I can get right down on the bed of that trailer if I get in line it might help as well no it's not gonna oh Let me, oh no, I didn't want to do that, did not want to do that. Let's see if that will go under there. No, right. Let's put this away. This throttle sticking a little bit. It's whoa, 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 whoa. Whoops. 